Boom, baby! We're back with another stream. Yo, how's it going, guys? Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Oats, and you're watching Oats Curry TV. And we got a lot of shits to talk about, man. Uh, yo, what's up, Cinecate? What's up, Rilla boy? The two OGs in chat. You guys probably heard, right? Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. Come on, man. Come on, man. What you what you think is going to happen? What you think is going to happen when you talk shit about another man's wife's appearances? I mean, it's like not even something that she can control, man. Like, I mean, she she announced that she had alopecia, right? Which is like she can't grow hair. She shaved that shit off. Why are you making fun of her appearance? You saw that on YouTube, Cineke? Yo. A lot of motherfuckers out there are saying like, you know, I wish you would, but Will Smith is actually that dude, man. You know what I mean? He's that dude. I want to see Chris Rock like say that same shit on the streets, carry that same energies, talk about someone's wife like that. You know, see if he d don't get his ass dropped. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think is going to happen? Just because like there are some celebrities like putting on some tuxedo. Uh, you're on a stage and you are like on a public arena means that you get to talk shit about another man's wife Like all right, you know, like say like he's a, just being a comedian, right? He's just doing his job Like you can't pick up the phone and call Jada or Will and say like hey I'm gonna tell this joke. I just want to check if it's cool with you, right? And you could have avoided this. You know, Will could have told you, yo, she's kind of sensitive about her hair. You know, just chill out. I mean, you don't even have to call Jada. All you have to call is Will. Just check in with the guy, right? Like, there's some street rules to this shit. That's like, like some code rules, right? Would you go and make fun of your boy's girl? Would you say some shit about your boy's girl as a joke? You wouldn't, right? Because you have respect for your boy. I wouldn't do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, let's say I'm hanging out with Helix and his girl. Like, I wouldn't talk shit about... I wouldn't... Like, I wouldn't make a comment about his girl that was, like, making fun of her. Because I have respect for my boy. You know, and considering how long, like, Chris Rock no knew Jada and Will. Like, dude's been talking shit ever since 2016, man. Saying, like, Jada wasn't even invited to the Oscars. Like, he wasn't invited to Rihanna's panties. Fuck out of here, bro. You deserve to get smacked on your face. You know what I mean? Dude, there's a difference about making a fun of someone's appearance, like if it's a choice. You know? Like, what if like Jada had cancer? Right? As a comedian, right? Like whenever you see someone have like a shaved head, you know, like you would you would try to like, hey man, like do your research. Do your fucking research, man. What if that person has cancer? And you just made fun of how someone looked. Like, think about this shit, right? Like, Will Smith has seen Jada be insecure about her hair, cry about that shit every day, and hate how she looked for weeks, for months, for maybe a year, right? And only for Chris Rock to say that shit on, like, you know, national TV. Like, even if, like, Will found the joke funny, why would you put a man on the spot to defend his wife? What do you think is going to happen if Will Smith didn't step up to Chris? What if he didn't step up to him? Like, how much shit is he going to get from Jada back in the car? Why would you put a man on the spot like that? You know what I mean? Like, don't ever put a man on the spot like that. Right? Because if you ever do that shit, like you ever insult another man's wife in front of him you put him on the spot if he doesn't say anything back or he doesn't smack the shit out of you you're making him look like a punk right like fucking will smith forget like where will where, like fucking chris rock forgot like where will smith came from bro that dude wasn't like naturally from bel-air bro he wasn't the prince of bel-air that dude is from the streets you know what I mean? And it's like, it's it's been boiling for a while, right? Like, Chris Rock's been talking shit ever since 2016, you know? Couple the fact that, like, you know, like, people are, like, piling on and saying, like, oh, you know, like, 
Jada and Will are just being sensitive as shit, you know, because they're going through this whole like entanglement bullshit. You know, none of that matters, bro. None of that matters because what you just did was you put a man on the spot when you insult you you insulted his wife. Right? Why would you dude? What the fuck was Will Smith supposed to do? Like sit there and take it? Yo. Yo, Loki though, Loki though, Will about to get some mad pussy, man. Mad pussy. That's a dude that would jump in front of a tiger to save your fucking ass. Like think about Will, man. Will has like no controversies like ever since like 1969. That dude's been clean. He never like starts shit, right? And you know, like when you make jokes about people like that, you don't even know if they're hurting. Hey, what it do, big boss? What it do? I I don't know if you just saw in the news uh, that you know Chris got the shit slapped out of him. He got the taste slapped out of his mouth. Like you know, here's the thing. Like I I think like there's one thing I gotta give like Chris props for is like I think innately Rock understands that if you talk shit, you're gonna get hit. Right? That's why he like fucking took it like a champ. Right? And he was all about like, you know, that show is about to go on. It, it has to go on. Right? Um, Yeah, you heard about that? Yo, that's what I'm saying, man. Yo, never put a man in a situation where he feels like he has to defend his wife. That's all I'm saying. Especially if it's like a very sensitive issue about like her hair. Because she, she can't control that shit. Right? Like, it took, like, Jada a while to come out of it and, like, you know, share it with the world. And it was, like, her daughter that convinced her to shave her hair. Because she has alopecia. She she, she, she can't grow that shit, right? Especially if, like, yo, especially, like, Rock is a black man, right? And I'm not trying to speak for black people, but he should, he should know. Like, I'm a fucking Asian dude, right? Like, I know black women are sensitive about their hair, right? Like, if you're gonna talk that shit, you're gonna expect some hit. You know what I mean? Like, especially, like, didn't Rock do, like, a, a whole documentary about, like, like, uh, black women's hair and how that shit is important? Only to go on stage and make fun of a black woman that is losing her hair? You know? That's all I'm saying, bro. All I'm saying is you could have picked up the phone, you could have called Will. Hey, bro. I got mad love for you and your wife. I'm just checking in with you if if it's cool if I can tell this joke. You can pick up the fucking phone, bro. Yeah, you don't disrespect the black queen. That's all I'm saying. You all you don't you don't ever disrespect a man's wife in front of him. Because you're essentially putting the man on the spot to do some about it. And if he don't if he don't do some about it, Yo, you pussy, man. Like, a lot of people say, man, like, I wish you would, right? But, like, Will is actually that dude. He is that dude. I think Oates wants to smack Chris, too. Yo, I would, man. I would. I mean, like, obviously, like, if it was, if, if, it, if it was me, you know, I don't have that, like, clout like that. I would have got booked, right? You know, like, Chris w would press charges on my fucking Asian ass. You know what I mean? Because I'm a nobody. And think about this. Think about this. What if like Rock made the joke on some actor that was on the come up? Say it wasn't Jada. Say it was the wife of a young actor that was on the come up. He would have to sit there and take that shit. Because he wouldn't he doesn't want to ruin his career. He doesn't have the royalty and the clout that Will has. Will don't give a fuck. Like, Will is like, mint, 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 like, okay, Will is Hollywood royalty, he don't give a fuck, like, that dude has like, TV shows, movies, a rap album, you know what I mean? Like, literally, Will plays a dude that kills motherfucking aliens, bro, right? Independence Day, he fly fucking fighter jets shooting down bitches in Man in Black, Fucking up fools, and you're gonna say that about his wife? Yeah, all women are queens, bro. Like, see, see, here's the thing, right? 
it's easy to make a joke when you're making it on the expense of like someone's like appearance it's easy right but that means you're making everyone laugh at someone like they said like the the the, the academy came out saying that yo uh we don't condone violence how about you don't condone bullying How about you make you don't make fun of someone that doesn't have control over their own appearances? You know what I mean? It's like different if you go into a comedy club. If you go into a comedy club and a comic is like cracking jokes and if you're on a wheelchair, you know, if you have like a bald head, it's all game, right? It's all game. You you walked in in there. But this is an event that, you know, people are like, "Yo, uh, Chris Rock is a comedian. He's he can say whatever the fuck he wants to say. This shit ain't a roast, bro. There's a right place and a right time for that type of shit, right? You know, and people forget that celebrities are humans. Just because someone has money, someone is famous, it doesn't mean that they don't go through the same struggles as you. You know what I mean? And even more so, like if you you think think why do people become entertainers in the first place? That's because a lot of actors and performers are insecure, man. They're broken people. That's why they are seeking the validation of people through performances, through acting, through singing. And you're going to say some shit at them and expect like nothing to happen because you're wearing a tuxedo. You're on a stage. There are cameras everywhere. Everyone's watching and you think you're safe, right? My argument is say that same shit to some random motherfucker on the streets and carry that same energy see your ass don't get dropped an instant you know what i mean like a lot of people say man i wish you would right and it's like it's like a code bro you can talk about me all you want don't talk about my don't talk about my kids don't talk about my wife and Rock just found out Will isn't that dude. That's all there is to it, man. And he should have known better. Hey, what it do, bro, dude? I appreciate you, man. How's it going, guys? Sorry, I got a little I, I got a little heated uh, because of this shit. Uh you guys mind if I do my three things? Because like uh, I, I always like start the stream by saying like I wanna be grateful for three things in life. Uh, I wanna I wanna start my day off with gratitude. So the first thing I want to be grateful for, I want to be grateful for all you guys in chat. Uh, thank you so much for watching my stream. You know, it, I mean, streaming is already hard as, as it is, but you guys make it so easy. And number two, I want to be grateful for my cat, Kaya. You know, if it wasn't for her, like I would be like out on the street slinging that mad big. But I'm a responsible cat daddy, man. So once I'm done with the stream, like all I focus on is my cat. Number three. Um, I just want to say, like, I just want to be grateful that I'm alive, bro. And I can, like, do this for for another day. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people aren't waking up tomorrow. And I want to be grateful that I can wake up and do this shit. It was supposed to be five things, Sineke. But, like, I, I don't think I can do five things, man. Like, I gotta be I gotta be real about this shit. Initially, like, the whole plan was to be grateful about five different things. But, yo... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah, what do you guys think about that shit, man? Like about that, you know, okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys, right? When I first saw Will step up on that stage and smack the shit out of Chris Rock, I honestly felt that Will was in the wrong. And if it was like, if I was Will, if I was Will, if I stepped on that stage, what I would have done instead was I would have took the mic from Chris Rock and I would be like, I just want to like let let everyone know that my wife Jada has this condition called alopecia. It's a condition that she can't control, and it took her a lot of courage to sh shave her head and share that with the world. And then I would look at Chris and I would say, "Chris, I think you need to apologize right now. You need to go down, look Jada in her eyes, and apologize for what you said because what you said was insensitive." Like, I get the whole idea of, like, making fun of people and, like, keeping it light, you know, keeping it jokes and all that. But you're making fun of someone who doesn't have control over their hair. So, 
apologize. And if he wouldn't apologize or he would try to say some slick shit, I would slap the shit out of him then. Right? So that was what I would have done if I was Will. I would have like took the mic, explained the whole situation because a lot of people are coming into this like not understanding that Jada doesn't even like like bro why the, why the fuck would you fuck with the black girl's hair you know what I mean Brody says Oates violence is not the answer it doesn't teach anyone anything it's an action but not a solution I would probably do the same thing but the words are different than putting hands on someone I, I, I believe violence isn't the answer to but you gotta understand bro like there is something called a man code and one of the first things of a man code is you never ever put a man on the spot to defend his wife, right? Because you gotta remember, like, it doesn't matter what Will feels because when he goes back home and, yo, Jada, Jada is not gonna believe Will is a man anymore. You never ever put a man in a position where he needs to defend his wife. And, and check this out, right? Part of the man code is also learning when you should say certain shit and when you shouldn't, right? So vi as you know, as much as violence isn't the answer, that's how you get checked back in back in the day. Back in the day, you wouldn't say shit like that in school because you get you, you would get punched in the face. You wouldn't say that shit on the streets because you would get dropped, right? So. <laughs> As much as like laying hands on another dude is like, you know, it's a crime, right? I'm, I'm going to admit it's a crime. Like, I, I think like if even if Chris would like press charges, I would have understand. But like a lot of people said, man, a lot of motherfuckers said, like, I wish you would. Right. Talk about me, but don't talk about my wife and kids. But when Will is actually that dude, everyone does a surprise Pikachu face. You know what I mean? Bossy, you didn't actually see the video of him hitting Chris. You just heard about it. Yo, the way Chris slapped the shit out of him was some pimp shit, bro. That dude had like form, like he followed through. Yo, that shit was like some pimp shit. But I got to say, like uh, Chris took it like a man. And here's the other thing, right, bro, dude. I, I You know, like I, I don't believe violence is the answer, but I also do believe that if you are putting out a certain level of negativity into the world, you kind of have to like take responsibility when you, you take a bit back. Like if you put out poison, right? I, and like, again, like this is not condoning violence, right? Like there's a bunch of stuff like Will could have done. Like, you know what would have been more fucked up like Will could have done instead of slapping the shit out of him? was Will could have spit in his face, right? Would that have been like, you know, a, a, a felony? I don't think it would. You know what I mean? Because like I said, right? Like you guys, you guys aren't living with Jada. Chris, uh, like Will Smith is, right? He's seeing her cry over her hair. He's seeing her hate herself. He's seeing her go through so much pain and only to see some random motherfucker like you known for years talk shit about her hair on stage on an international like event bro <laughs> right I, I i believe like violence isn't the answer but i also believe in checking a motherfucker you know i you know i have been personally checked Right? Like, I remember back in middle school, uh, there was like this transfer, transfer student that, uh, came to my class, man. And he, he came from a, a fucked up, he came from a rough background. And, you know, he was talking some shit, right? So I started to talk some shit back. But I took it, I took it way too far. Right? The dude was just talking about me, but I just ran out of ideas. So I, I went for his mom. I talked shit about his mom. Right, I call him a motherfucker. I call him all kinds of names. You know, I said his mom was fat as shit, like things like that. And he choked me out. He actually grabbed me by the throat, 
punched me in the face a couple times and held his hand there until I couldn't breathe. Right? And I thought I was gonna die. Seriously, I was choking, right? But from that day onwards, like I knew like, if you're gonna talk that shit, you gotta prepare for some heat. You know, if you can't stand the heat, don't stay in the kitchen. And there's one thing at least I'm really proud about myself in middle school was I never fucking snitched. I never snitched, right? No matter how much I got my ass beat or like I get into fights, never snitch, never fucking snitch, you know? And that's when I knew, man, like, you know, if, you know, like stand up comedy is like, it, you know, th- that's a difference, right? If, if, you, if it was a roast of Jada, it would have been like free game, but it wasn't a roast event. You know, it wasn't a comedy club. If you go into a comedy club with like a fucked up foot or like a fucked up eye, or if you have a shaved head or, or you're in a wheelchair, if you if you have all of any of those and you walk into a comedy club and you sit your ass down and you if, if the co- comedian makes fun of you, it's free game. That's my opinion. But I, I don't I think there's a right place and time to make fun of people, right? Especially like, you know, making fun of someone who doesn't have control of their appearances. Yo, what do you think is going to happen, man? Uh, Brody says, I'm not against what Will did at all. Like I said, I would have done the same thing, but restraint is something that should have been practiced as well. It's a very double-sided thing. I think it's like also like, you know, like, I, I think like both sides were wrong because I felt that 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 whole thing could have been avoided if just Chris just picks, picked up the phone a day before and checked in with Will. Like, yo, um, I'm going to be telling these jokes and I just want to check in with you, right? If it's cool. And Will could have like, Will could have been like, oh yeah, you know what? Like you, like maybe like not talk, don't talk about her hair because that shit is kind of sensitive. Like, you know, she's been like, you know, maybe she's been suicidal about that shit. You know, she maybe she's been like, yeah. Sineke says, when it comes to my son, I will destroy. Yeah, but here's the difference, Sineke. If you and your son were walking into a comedy club and they talk shit about your son or you or both of you, it's uh, it's free game, bro. Because you walked into a comedy club or if you if you walked into a roast you know, and it was, they were roasting you. It's fine, right? But this is an event that like, nobody's expecting to be like, insulted. Especially something about they're sensitive about. Especially like, about your wife. Like if Will didn't do anything, it would made him, made him, made him look like a punk. He couldn't go back home and look his wife in the face. Because it doesn't matter if you're on a world stage if you're putting on tuxedos, you know, if like the world is watching you, you know, like think about this, right? What would a younger actor with no clout like Will Smith do? They would have sit there and take it. It would have fucking sucked. They would have sit there and take it. But Will Smith didn't give a fuck. He got up, he got up on the stage and did what he had to do. And I have a lot of respect for that. I have a lot of respect for that, man. Like, but I, but I, but, but, you know, like I said, right? Like, I don't think violence is the answer either. Um, like I said, you know, if I was handling it, I would have walked on the stage, took the mic, explained the whole situation about, you know, the alopecia, ask Chris, like, please apologize, you know, to my wife, right? And if he was still trying to be cute, I would lay the smack down on this motherfucker, man. And think about it, like, a slap is actually what Will, Will is actually showing more respect to Chris by slapping him in the motherfucking face. Because you know what is even more fucked up? Is Will could have went on stage and spit in his face. Which which do you think is worse, a slap or someone spitting in your face, right? You know what I mean? If someone spit on, if, if this, if Will spit on Chris' face, 
Would that have been considered violence? It's not a felony, right? You disrespected my wife. Like, why can't I disrespect you? This is not a roast. This is not a comedy club. This is like, we are just here to receive awards, bro. We're not here to hear you talk shit. You know what I mean? And Chris been talking shit, bro. He's been talking shit since 2016, right? There was like one time like Jada boycotted the Oscars because like, you know, I don't know, man, like uh, some some kind of and then Chris talked shit. Chris was like, you ain't invited. Right. Think about that. Bro, this is honestly the Oscars are not the time to be roasting people. It's supposed to be the best award show, but then you have to say, what about Ricky Gervais roasting people to infinity? Hmm. I, I, you know, that's the funny thing, right? Like I watched the Ricky Gervais, um, you know, roast. Um, I can't remember every single thing about it, but I think like what Ricky's whole thing was about, like he was addressing the crowd in general. He was saying like, um, you know, you know, you guys are celebrities, like just come on stage, receive your award and fuck off, right? Like, don't don't talk about, like, how you're such a good person. Because, like, a lot of people, like, receiving the award were, were, like, like, people like Apple, you know, like, people, like, you know, using, like, fucking slavery to make their products, right? Like, I think, like, Ricky, and, I, and like, Ricky was talking shit about, like, a known convicted pedophile. Right? Wasn't he talking shit about like Epstein? Like that dude is like free game, man. Like here, here's the thing. If you want to talk shit, talk about people that are convicted for some bullshit, right? Like Epstein, Weinstein, like pieces of shit that prey on children and women. Fuck those guys, right? And I don't recall seeing Ricky Gervais make fun of somebody's wife, wife's appearance that she can't control because of a medical condition. I, I don't recall seeing him do that. All I, all I recall seeing him do is talk about motherfuckers who touch kids, you know, and hurt women. I think it's a different story, man. It's a different story. Yeah. And, and think about it, right? It's the intent. Well, what is the intent of the joke, right? The intent of the joke is to like make people laugh. But if you're making someone's appearance, something they can't control, the butt of the joke, not everyone's laughing at you. Everyone is laughing at that person. You made a joke, so everyone is laughing at that person. And what if that person is someone's wife, is someone's daughter, someone's kid? And the, the dude is sitting there. The slap, in my opinion, was because Will, was because Chris disrespected Will. As much as it was like majorly disrespecting Jada, it was disrespecting Will. Because you think that the dude is gonna take it. Like you're gonna talk shit about his wife and he's gonna just sit there and not do a motherfucking thing because there are cameras, because you are wearing a tuxedo, because you're on stage, because everyone is watching, right? Like, why would you put a dude on the spot like that? You know what I mean? That That is some coward shit. That is some coward shit. You know, like if you're going to do something like that, like try it on the streets. Say that shit to a random motherfucker, man, on the streets and, and carry that same energy. That's all I'm saying. You know, there's a time and place for everything. You don't go on the streets and like roast people. You do it in a club. You do it in an event where people are supposed to get roasted. People want comedy. Because not everyone on the streets are feeling comedy. Not everyone in... Dude, you don't even know like... You know, like the people like that go to the Oscars, like the celebrities. They are like broken and insecure people. No offense. A lot of artists are. That's why they became artists. And you target them because they are, you know, you think they have money, they have fame, so you're not really, you're, you're going big game hunting. 
all you're really doing when you talk shit about celebrities is you're going big game hunting. Because nobody's gonna like, you know, nobody's gonna say shit. But here's the problem. He made fun of a woman's appearance who had a medical condition. In my honest opinion, as a comic, you are punching down. Right? There's a difference between punching up and punching down. When someone's already suffering, you don't fucking make fun of their suffering. Right? Punch up. Make fun of yourself. Like self-deprecating humor is some of the best shit ever. Everyone's laughing with you. They're not laughing at someone because of some shit you said. You know? It's what I think. You know, the day that Jada actually goes on, you know, a roast show where, you know, she's sitting on the big chair and a bunch of comics can, like, roast her, that's a, an appropriate time, you know, to, to bust out your stupid fucking G.I. Jane 2 jokes. Motherfucker. Sorry, guys, I got heated. But that's a that's a good point to bring up about Ricky Gervais, man, because, like, I remember watching Ricky shit and... You know, I don't think he, whatever he talked about was targeting someone's appearance. Bro dude says Chris Rock didn't know she had a condition. She just want just want to be clear about that. He didn't know she suffers. I find it hard to believe, bro. Because Chris and like if you go on the internet, you can search a lot of pictures of Chris with the family, with the Smith family. And even if he didn't know about that, you know, like if I see someone Especially a woman with a shaved head. I wouldn't like make fun of her without doing some research. Right? If he was saying that joke in a comedy club, it's a free for all, right? Like you're supposed to take that shit because you are in a setting where comedy is free, right? Like if I see a woman with a shaved head, the first reaction that I would have got like thought of was like, oh shit, she might be sick right just because like someone doesn't talk about their illness it doesn't mean they might not be sick like she might be she might have cancer bro like fuck right and she had the courage to go to a like a public event and think about this right think about this like you know you are a man and men are e extremely protective you want to protect your woman Whatever it is, right? You don't want to see her get hurt. Whether if it's her feelings or whether if she's in danger or whatever. You want to stand up for her, right? And when you feel that someone is, you know, you know, like pouring mud on her dignity. See, everyone is like looking at the situation like, oh, it's just a fucking joke. Okay, how about I talk about your wife, right? What if your wife was a fat piece of shit and I, I said like she looked like the Michelin man? And I said it on a stage where everyone in the world the world are laughing at her. And what if your wife had like a medical condition where she can't do anything about it? Right? Dude, I will fuck you up. Best believe I will fuck you up. Right? So yeah, you know, you know what? Like I, like, like I also mentioned, bro, dude, like, this whole incident could have been avoided if Chris picked up the phone. Picked up the phone, check in with your man. Right? Think about this. Would you make fun of, of your friend's wives? Would you do that? Like, like, think about it from a personal level. Like, you guys have friends, right? You guys have friends that are married. And, you know, you guys are probably really tight and all. Would you talk shit about your friend's wife's appearance in front of your friend? And let me, let me tell you the answer. The answer is no. You know why you wouldn't do that? It's because you have respect for your friend. You know, not talking shit about another man's wife is as much as it's like a respect for the woman, it's as respect for the man because you don't want to put him on the spot to defend her, right? And people are different. Like some, some people are gonna like hit you in the fucking face. <laughs> it's all I'm gonna say about that, man. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Like this is like,
crazy fucking rant. Ah, gotta get that off my chest. Brodu says, like you mentioned, the Oscars are about paying tribute to great acting, great films, not roasting. Doesn't matter if it's Gervais or Chris Rock. Let's celebrate acting, not jokes. Yeah, you know, like, like my honest opinion about it is like, I think they bring these com- comedians on the shows to bring some entertainment, right? But like, and you know, here's the thing, like a lot of the entertainment that they're bringing it are not really for the audiences that are in the event itself. Chris is bringing entertainment to people on TV. People like to see celebrities get shit on, right? Because we feel that, you know, they're able to take it because they have a lot of money, they're famous, they're on TV, you know? A lot of us think like celebrities are invincible, right? And that's it's it's clear. Like if you go if you go look at the tabloids and you see like what TMZ is talking about Kanye, what TMZ is talking about Jay Z, Beyonce, like people like to see celebrities get shit on, right? So what happens if a celebrity starts to fight back? You know, a lot of people like. They, they believe they are entitled to go up to a celebrity and say whatever the fuck they want, right? Until they meet a wrong dude, like, they, they meet the dude like Will, slap you in your fucking face, right? Yeah, the controversy sells. The controversy sells, you know, like, a lot of people like, you know, like, people like to use celebrities or other people as a punching bag. Because the real truth about like the world is like people aren't happy, right? So when someone is not happy, what do they do? They want to blame everything around them. They want to blame the government. They want to blame like, yo, fuck that dude, man. He got a Lambo. Who the fuck he think he is? Yo, what the fuck, man? That guy got a six pack abs. He got like, like a big arms. Like he fucking takes steroids, bro. Or like, yo, you see that girl? Like, she's with that dude, you know? She's with him for his money, man. Fuck them, you know? Like, you see that celebrity over there? Yo, fuck that bit, bro. And then when a comedian makes fun of that celebrity, they're like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you thought you were famous and rich? Bald ass bitch, you know? Like, people are like fucking toxic, right? They don't understand that celebrities are people too. You know? Like, it's very easy to make a joke about someone's appearance. It's way harder to make a joke where everyone laughs with you. Right? Why not go with the self-deprecating humor? Make fun of yourself first. You know? And if you want to make fun of someone's wife, like... Pick up the phone. Call the dude. Give him a heads up check in with him and you're Gucci if you get slapped in the face don't be surprised about it yeah misery loves company that's why like people are like that's why TMZ are really hyped up because the thing with like people are is like people in general like a lot of people right the way they feel better about their situation is when they see someone else suffering like them you know what i mean misery loves company and who is the type of people that you would like to see suffer the most are people with money people that have a better life than yours right you know you don't look at like how much work they put in to get like to where they are at right so a lot of people make fun of like jeff bezos you know like elon musk like you bald motherfucker you know like fucking piece of shit you know but they never looked at him when he was like a nobody starting up his company amazon or whatever right right like back then you would probably be rooting for him you never saw him on this whole journey where he became famous he became rich and now he's up there you're like fuck that guy right he's no longer relatable People only root for underdogs, right? When the warriors were like on the come up, everyone was like rooting for them. 
when they became a fucking di dynasty with like you know KD you know like everyone was like yo fuck the warriors man people don't like to see greatness because it highlights the insecurity in their own lives people like to see underdogs because they can project themselves onto those people nobody can project themselves onto will because will is actually successful right will is hollywood royalty he got money he got a beautiful family he got a beautiful life so whatever he's struggling with people don't give a fuck about because you can't project yourself onto him you know what i mean what if like chris rock was like roasting a homeless dude's wife making fun of her hair not knowing that maybe she has cancer not knowing maybe she she can't fucking afford to like get her hair treated right everyone would jump on chris and be like you know fuck you doing man but then it's okay to talk about someone who's more famous or has money they're still humans you know what i mean that's what i think man yo i gotta get more water I, I'm, I'm i'm out of water just give me a minute i'll be right back but you know i'm back stay tuned for the parry god thank you bro dude yo i apologize guys i know you guys probably want to see some gameplay but like uh yeah i was i was really like stewing over this whole thing man like, i was really thinking about it and like you know i i do appreciate you guys sticking around listening to what i gotta say uh thank you boss thank you i appreciate it yeah but I, I gotta admit to you guys, right? I, I gotta come clean. Like, initially, I really did feel that Will was in the wrong. I was like, yo, Will is tripping, man. Like, why would you hit someone? Because I actually like Chris Rock. I listen to a lot of, like, Chris Rock comedy specials. You know? In fact, like, I Chris Rock has a lot of, like, bits that help me in my own life. The, you know, the way he talks about relationships. You know, the difference between men and women. Like, it helped me understand the difference better. It helped me have a better perspective. So, like, like I didn't like seeing Chris get smacked in the face. Yeah. Always good to hear your thoughts on different topics. Yo, thank you, boss. I appreciate that. Yo, I gotta keep it light for a little bit. I, I'm, I'm not gonna fight, like, like, anything too crazy because... Uh, I, I'm expecting delivery, <laughs> so if I'm like fighting a boss, I can't like back out, you know, so I'm just gonna like warm up a little bit, fight a couple of guys, but, you know. Yo, I appreciate you, Sin. Yeah, you know, I like, here's the thing, initially I really thought Will was in the wrong, like I still think he is, like it is wrong to like assault someone. You know, but what he's really doing is he's like giving back that pain that he feels. Nobody does anything, you know, unhappy if they don't, if they feel unhappy. Like, I, I can guarantee. Like, Will does, Will feel some type of way. He's not in a good place. Because think about it, right? If Will is in a good place in life, he would have took that joke like a chap. He would be like, yo, whatever, man. You, you would laugh with everyone. But I don't think he is in a good place. You know, and it helps to know if someone is in a good place or not, right? Like, you know, if you want to like, like someone, someone that is like happy with life would want to make you happy, right? Someone who's happy in life would want to make everyone around them happy. Yeah. All I'm saying, man. Right? Like, um... But I, I do believe it's also, like, a good thing to make fun of yourself. You know? That's why, like, you know, if you go to a comedy club, you should kind of be prepared. Like, if, if the dude makes fun of you, it's good to come prepared. Like, like alright, you know, like, I gotta learn how to take a joke. But I do think there's a time and place for everything, man. 
like as much as like we look at celebrities like actors and like uh performers as like you know like oh they're so full of themselves you know they're like sniffing their own farts and all that you gotta remember like these people work hard you know when i was a kid i've always fantasized about like oh what it would be like to be an actor like oh man i would love to have like people love me and like i wish you know i wish like people would like make me sign their you know sign them autographs and stuff like that but when i really look at the work like oh my god like you know in order to be an actor you got to be able to cry on cue you got to be able to like you know like you know remember your lines like that shit is hard bro that shit is hard You know what I mean? In general, it's not easy being a human, man. We go through our struggles in life. No matter if you're rich or you're poor, you know, like, everyone, everyone gets shit on. Yeah, this guy's quick with his shit, man. Yeah, I think I'm sufficiently warmed up. Okay, who else can I fight to warm up? Uh, let's go back here. But yeah, I, I gotta try to like not put myself in like a situation like fighting a boss because I'm, I'm expecting a package in the mail. So... Yeah, just gotta be real careful about this shit. Oh shit, she too far away. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh shit, does she have glowing eyes? For real? You got your second Switch game? Wait, I didn't know you had a Switch. You have a Switch? Hey, what what game you got, bro? Hi. Oh, she dropped something. Ooh, I got her like a, a blade again. Partisan. Spear with a wide tip. In addition to its thrusting attacks, this versatile weapon can be swung to sweep through foes. Pretty cool. Look at this. This is a really good weapon. Look at the speed. Okay, wait. Um, so I do have the stats to use this, right? This is a really good weapon. Because if you look at this, the, the basic stats already, it's already pretty high. Okay, the shitty part about this though is it's kind of heavy. So my sword weighs like 3.5, but this partisan spear weighs 6.5. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Oh, you're on your bro switch. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you got that monster hunter rice? Like how's it how's it play though? You like it? Oh shit, okay. Oh man, I'm so late with the parries. It's been a while since I fought these guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I fought these guys. I, I only know how to parry like knights, like fucking beasts, like these. Do you guys like my armor? I'm wearing the, um, fuck, what do you call this? The Banished Knight set. 
And you can find the banished knights at the um, Stormvale Castle. Yeah. Damn, you just got it. Let me know how it plays though, because like I never really got into Monster Hunter Syndicate. And uh, I don't know if it's the type of game that would be up my alley. You know, it might be actually really good like game to play. Like my whole worry about the whole thing is like I'm afraid like You know, I'm afraid that, like, it's a multiplayer game. Oh man, the parry for this is, like, really weird. You gotta be on your A game to parry this guy. Like that. Carry on, carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Yeah, you know, I'm waiting on a package today. You know, there was actually like, um, I remember there was a time where I was playing Elden Ring and like all of a sudden, like a delivery man came through and I was like, I had to kill the guy in like three seconds and go collect my package. That was stressful as fuck, man. Because like, this game doesn't have a pause button. Ooh, I like that. I got, I got, my message got a praise. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they like this one. Well done, snake. Yeah, man. I might have to go back and buy more um, daggers or, you know. Do you just parry him and he gets off his horse? Oh, okay, that was kind of a late parry. Oh, yeah, that did it. Oh, that did it. Parrying these guys get them off their horse. Can I, like, ride their horse? This horse is kind of cool. Could you help us out, Kali? Oh fuck, someone's calling out to me. Who the fuck? You? Y yeah, you there! Stop pretending you can't see me! What is this guy, this guy talking about? Wait, hold up. This, they got an item over here. Oh, why won't anyone look me in the eye? I, I'm not that ugly, am I? Oh, yo, where he at? What the fuck? You heard- you guys heard that, right? Yo, what you mean I won't look you in the eye? I can't even see you, bruh. Oi! You- you there! Could you help us out, Cully? Yo, where he at? You? Y yeah, you there! Stop pretending you can't see me! Oh, there he is. What'd you go and do that for? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, shit! I what remember. the fuck? Some clod turned me into a tree. Oh, you shit. You spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's What Bob. the fuck? I was pushed out of the cave told not to come back oh Whatever. he must be one of those wolf beast thing tree. <laughs> lucky you came along really all right bet oh what a shame when they threw me out of the cave they took everything i owned and so this is all i have to express my thanks oh this guy's cool I hope you can forgive me oh this guy was the, the he came from the cave where i killed like the people man well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. 
then I'd be of some real use to you. But, you know, the cave is kind of dangerous, right? Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them. Oh, man, I feel bad. I don't want this guy to get in trouble. My knees start knocking. Just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Oh, the shore. Right. I'm... Oh, there's a cave near shore. So I'm guessing there's probably a cave somewhere along here. Right. I'm... Dude, this guy is cool, man. Like, he seems like a okay dude. Right. I'm... I'm... Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna head back towards that place, man. Um, There's something on the map here, too. Maybe there's like a cave over here. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy. You know, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy until my delivery guy comes. Uh, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Collect some resource, you know, enjoy this game. But that was a really good warm-up session. Like, I literally parried, like, everyone, like, really scary. Dude, the frame rate is kind of crazy over here. It's, like, kind of, like, feels like almost, like, 30. Whoa. Is that the cave? Yeah, that's a cave. But, like, is it dangerous to go down there? I mean, it's like... I don't know if you can drop down from over there. If that would be safe. Oh, what the hell? Look at this! There's some, like, voodoo ritual going on. They're literally lighting some dudes up on fire. Holy shit. Bunch of savages. Alright, so... Okay, you can go down from here. What does this say? Be wary of dragon. Oh shit, okay. Good looking out. Yo, where he at though? Oh, maybe that's him. Maybe he, he's that piece of rock over there. And maybe those guys like burning up the dudes, they're like kind of offering their, their shit to him. Oh my god, they're bloodstains. Why are there bloodstains? And where the fuck is this dragon? And that's a rhetorical question, by the way. Uh, all right, let's try. I'm trying to sneak into the cave because I think like once we get into the cave, we might be able to, um... Oh, before I forget. Uh, I forgot to put my death counter uh, back. Sorry, guys. So I died like 21 times the last time, I think. Yeah, I wrote it down. It was 21 times. Yeah, just putting it out there. So I'm going to try to like sneak into this cave. I mean, obviously, I don't want to fight. I don't want to like, like aggro anyone. For now. Someone wrote a message here. Cave ahead. <laughs> no shit. Didn't expect cave. Tunnel ahead, therefore time for material. 
I don't remember being here. What is this? Why is there like some blue shit around here? Oh, I guess you can't teleport out, right? Lime Grave Tunnels. Whoa. Maybe this is the cave that the, the dog guy was talking about, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we got a Sight of Grace, pretty cool. Yeah, this is the first time I've been here. I think I'm gonna rest here because I, I could get a full Estus refill. And we need 15,000 runes to level up, but we have 2,400 right now. So long way to go. Currently, I'm at level 50. I have 28 points in Vigor, which is for health. 27 in Endurance, which is Stamina and Max Equip Load. Uh, strength is at 17 and Dex is at 22. I'm, I'm like really focusing on like Dex. Just kind of hoping there would be some items in here, but... The summoning pool is now functional. I kind of wonder like how like deadly these guys are. Can I sneak up on this guy? Can I farm this shit? Smithing stone. Damn. I didn't know you could find smithing stones in this bitch. Yo, I'm going to chill real quick. I'm, I'm going to try to just observe this place. Yo, why is there like blood stains in here though? Like how, how are you dying to these? Oh, this is an invader. Right, let me get eyes on this guy. So I'm guessing this guy is like the foreman. He's just like, you know, telling others what to do. You know? Whoa, look at all the blood stains down there. People have died, yo. Okay, um, you know, the problem with my build right now is like whenever I equip the bow as a secondary weapon, I can't roll. Look at that. But I need the bow because I need to like aggro like bitches, you know what I mean? Oh shit. Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> He's all pissed fuck out of here. Oh, what the fuck? He's just throwing rocks? Oh, okay, okay, shit. Okay, cool. I think there are more motherfuckers down there, man. Whoa. I kind of wonder why are they mining this shit and for who? Because these guys kind of look like slaves. Seems familiar. Yeah, it looks a lot like, uh, I don't know, Dark Souls 3 or something. Damn, this shit is crazy. 
What's with all the blood stains though? That's what I don't get. Holy shit, we are literally underground. Be wary or behind. Behind what? What you mean be wary or behind? Okay, what if I pulled this guy towards me though? Oh shit. I kind of feel bad bro because like I'm literally like hurting people that are not that strong anyway. Wow these guys are tough man. Oh is this another elevator? Oh, this sh it seems like this shit goes deeper. Secret passage required ahead and then behind. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try to go down there later, but... Oh. Seek down. Oh. Oh, they got mad bloodstains though. Okay, chill. Let's go see what's on this floor. Hey, what's up, Art? 105 hours and you finished the game. Congrats, bro. No spoilers. What's up, though? Yo, you see that Will Smith uh, slap Chris Rock at the Oscars? Oh, what the hell? Uh-oh. What the fuck? Oh, these, this, these things are rats. Oh... Okay, 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 okay. Chill out, chill out. Yo, there was an ambush, bruh. Wow, the rat can actually jump up. shit that slap was definitely a five frame startup that's the that's a good one. Oh shit oh my god yeah, this guy hits heavy rock couldn't react i think he was kind of expecting it because like I don't know, like, he, he, he kind of had his hands on his back, like, what do you think a dude is going to do if you talk shit about his wife? <laughs> like, if, if, like, Will was approaching me like that, yo, I would be ready to throw hands. You know what I mean? I would, like, have my guard up. <laughs> or at least I would have, like, you know, did a Floyd Mayweather and, like, like kind of, like, dodged that shit. Dog ahead. What you mean, dog ahead? Seems familiar. Smithing stone. Good luck. Fuck, this shit is depressing, man. Yeah, I actually talked about it earlier in the stream art. Like, I, I actually said, like, you know. To a certain extent, you kind of have to like appreciate like what Will did, right? Like a lot of people say, you know, say that they are that dude until it's time to be that dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh fuck, I thought this guy was alive because his body was still moving. So, I guess we gotta use the elevator down. 
Um. Damn, this shit is deep, bro. I can't even like go back to like the beginning of the cave and teleport. Wow. Okay. So. All right. Let's just take the elevator down first. Wait. Let me see. Secret passage required ahead and then behind. Okay. Let's just. Let's just get eyes on this. Oh, I see a passage there. Cool. Um. Yo, how deep is this shit, bruh? I'm kind of scared, man. Like, what the fuck? Be wary of Groot. Okay, thank you. Appreciate your message. Um. Yo. Okay, let me, like, go up. Let me see, like, there's, like, a secret passage you can roll, right? Like, right... Wait. I think it was here. It was here, right? Oh, no. I think it was probably facing here. Yeah, I think it's probably facing here. Oh, there it is. You see that? Okay, I think we want to try to roll. Okay, the roll button is circle, right? Okay, roll. Okay. Praise the jumping. Okay, wait, how did this guy die? Oh, he fell. <laughs> he fucking fell. Oh, shit. That was kind of fucked up. I guess one way you could go about it is you could jump there. Okay. We got this guy, but... There are a ton of bloodstains, so it's probably... Hmm. The crazy part is that you can't teleport out of this bitch. Oh, they got a guy like looking around. Okay. Yo. Okay, so the reason why I'm hesitant to fight right now is because like I'm kind of like anticipating my delivery guy coming at any time. So in the middle of like me fighting, like I, I don't want to like have to go, you know what I mean? So I think they have like a patrol, like a guy that goes back and forth. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this dude is like the foreman. Kinda wonder who they're working for. Oh, what the fuck? Did he just call for backup? Oh my god, he got firebombs. Oh shit. You know, technically we are we are the one that is starting shit. You know what I mean? Like these guys are just working. Okay, I got this thing called the explosive stone clump. What is that? Is that fire? Oh, I thought that was footsteps. I it was actually fire. 
Explosive stone clump. What is that? Oh, th this is it. Explodes when thrown together, inflicting fire damage. Wow, a clump of small stones with smoldering cores. Explodes when thrown together at enemies, inflicting fire damage. Miner employs these stones as tools for rock blasting, but have long forgotten how to craft them. Oh. Bro, alright, let me let me just check my messages real quick, just in case like I got like delivery coming through. Um hold up guys. It's really hard to tell. The thing with like FedEx is like FedEx doesn't have like a real time like tracking device to track your shit. But DHL has like a like a live like thing. You can literally see a map where like the van is like driving up to your house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now I don't know when the delivery guy is coming. So I gotta be real slow and careful about this because I don't want to die for free. Because dying here would be the worst because it just means that you gotta come back. We gotta try to ambush like a guy. So I don't wanna fight a guy straight up. I wanna like kill him as quick as possible. So stab him in the back and then prepare another R2. Damn, mad amount of people died here though, but why? Maybe they weren't expecting the bomb, bruh. Oh fuck, they got another dude. Oh shit. First off, well done by the way, praise the message. Alright, fine. Glenstone scrap. Okay, that's crazy. Um, is this dude like coming back? They got like a dude resting. I mean, they got like mad amount of smithing stones in here. So you playing Canada game? Uh, oh, you saw me playing Canada game. Uh, that game is great. Really, it kind of felt boring. Like, the combat was, like, super basic, you know, it wasn't, like, anything too crazy. Bosses feel like you're in a Souls game on hardest difficulty. I, I played it on hard because they wouldn't allow me to play it on hardest. Like, I think on hardest, you gotta beat the game first. Jeremy! Come in! Come in. Jeremy, thank you so much for the raid! What's up, Jeremy? Welcome! Guys, please go to Jeremy underscore Gone Wild's channel and please show him some love, man. Thank you so much, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. How's it going, man? Like, what were you playing? Arxis is because you need to unlock moves to get better. Yo, I unlocked the bow and I fucking hated it. You playing some Elden Ring? Nice. So right now, I'm over here. I'm underground. I didn't even know there was an underground mine over here. How's the stream going? Oh, it was going pretty great. Did you see the Oscars? Uh, Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock? Yeah. Thank you so much for the raid, man. And all of you guys on my channel right now, stop what you're doing. Go to Jeremy underscore Gone Wild's channel and drop him a follow, man. Just do that for me right now. Thank you, bro. And uh, thank you to anyone who joined Jeremy on that raid. You guys are awesome. So the reason right now I'm playing like so safe is because like I'm waiting for my delivery guy in real life to pull up. So it has happened before when like I was in the middle of combat and I had to bounce. And that shit sucks, man, because like <laughs> nothing's worse. Like, you know, like not wanting to die and like, you know, the delivery man showing up. So it's going pretty good, Jeremy. Thanks for asking, bro. I hope you're having a good time in Elden Ring. Oh, fuck. I want to stab this dude. 
I'm just afraid that I'll wake up his homie. These guys are tough as shit, man. Like, you gotta, like, kill them quick. You tried invasions tonight? Never again? Wait, why not? Was it because you spawn inside, like, a world where there's two players? <laughs> hey, what's up, Kelly? Thank you. Thank you for joining Jeremy on that raid. I really appreciate you. Are you a fan of Elden Ring, Kelly? Try three or, three or four. Well, why did I say that's tree? It's three. You know, I used to pronounce the word three as tree. <laughs> like an Irish man. Tree. There were a few three versus one. Oh, you play with Jeremy. But I guess, I don't know why they made it like that though. It used to be like when you invade like someone in Dark Souls, it used to be like just another player, but you have 70 hours. Wow, you guys play together? What's the experience like playing with a friend though? You love having bosses to 20% health and getting called downstairs. Yeah, I know how that feels. Yo, let's like aggro this guy. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wait, hold up. Oh, he can blow fire at you. Oh! Okay. Okay, okay, oh, fuck that. Fuck that. There's two guys. I ain't trying to do that. It's fun. I should play this game with a friend, but like, I kind of won the achievement of like, you know, beating this game uh, by myself. We are co-oping a lot of bosses is all. It's a lot of fun though. Yo, it sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. I guess I would love to replay this game with a, with a friend. Maybe I might do that on New Game Plus. Maybe. Okay, we gotta find a way to get out of here. I think it's probably safe to jump here, right? Okay. Not here, what you mean? You can only co-op bosses. Oh, you cannot co-op like other stuff. I never really did a co-op before. Right? Like one of the major things I like, I, I kind of like hold myself to is like whenever I fight bosses, I would never even use like a NPC co-op. Sadly, you can't co-op the whole game, just bosses in some dungeon areas. I, I feel you, I feel you. Let me try to go back. You can co-op caves and catacombs and tombs though. Oh, that's interesting. There's like a weird stipulation to like not be able to co-op anything else other than caves and catacombs. I guess it's like because the game is easier to load. Oh fuck, he going back. Oh fuck. Wow, that's cheating, bruh! Oh shit, why is my shield not up? Okay, shit. That was tight. I hate how blades just bounce off these dudes. Yeah, they're tough as shit. Like, the, my, my whole thing is, I kind of wonder, like, what's their deal? Like, these guys are obviously, like, kind of like slaves, right? Because if you look at their bodies, it looks like these guys are like... Oh, you know what? Let's try to remember, like, this game was written by George R. Martin, right? And in, like, the, his books, like, A Song of Ice and Fire, there are, like, people that are made out of stone. So I think these guys are, like, kind of like that. But it, it's also kind of like, like these guys are kind of like slaves. That means they're probably working for someone, probably Godric, because they're farming for smithing stuff, right? That means they're like building like weapons. So I'm trying to like figure out like maybe like, you, you know, like they're under strict instructions. The person who came to your world only had three heals and three FP flasks. Wow. Sounds like a beginner. <laughs> Yo, chill. Okay, okay. 
Yo, I'm just praying, bro. I'm praying for like um, you know, like a, a gray site. Okay, I got another smithing. So let's get, let's head back and see if there's any other smithing stones I missed out. Damn. Thank you, Kelly, for uh, you know joining Jeremy on that raid. It's really nice of you. And again, like you know, to my people, please go visit Jeremy underscore Gone Wild's channel. I'll shout you out on the Discord too, man, because it's the least I can do. Um, thank you. That's all you get when you go into someone's world for real. I didn't know that. You know, honestly speaking, like, I don't even remember ever invading people whenever I played Souls games. Like, a bunch of people did invade me in Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, but I don't re Oh, what the fuck? Someone died here. Oh, okay, this guy got, got fucking wasted. Flask-wise, yeah, I got you. Was that always a thing in Dark Souls? Like, whenever you go, go into someone's world, like, they would cut down your flask? Okay, fuck it. Let's just do this. I'm trying to find a, a side of grace, but I don't even know if there's one over here. Oh, you can jump there. Oh, they got a... Is that a grace site? Seek item. Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there's an item up there. But first thing first, I got to try to see if I can find a, a side of grace. Okay, wait. Hold up. Oh, there's something beyond that gate. Why is it always danger? Yo, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, come on, bro. Come on, bro. The fuck is that? The fuck is that? You know what's even crazy? It looks like that gate over there doesn't... S it looks like that thing is gonna bust wide open. Okay, maybe the good thing is that there isn't a lot of blood stain. Okay, wait, let, let's go look for the boss, maybe. Yo, don't spoil, don't spoil, don't spoil, but I don't even want to know. All right, let me go seek, seek this item. And go say hello. Yo, Cinecute, I'm expecting a delivery today, man. I can't be fighting a boss and like trying to like... Okay, fuck. Yo, why do you got to make that item so difficult? Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me get eyes on this. You got to jump out, get that item. Okay, you gotta do this like coming down, uh, coming down, not coming up. It just wants a hug. <laughs> Yo, sorry if I do this a couple times. I'm trying to be safe. Oh, fuck, I did it. Golden rune. Cool. Okay, what is this? A somber smithing stone. Time for stay calm. <laughs> I like that. Cool. Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh wait, oh no wait. Is that a thing? I almost thought that was a gray site, but it's just like a candle. Check if it's a boss, yo. Okay, wait, I'm carrying 3,368 runes. You mean that thing could be a smithing stone? All right, let's just take a look. Oh no, it's just a- it's literally a candle. Oh, there's another secret path. See that? There's a path over here. Oh, not really. Oh wait, maybe it is. Alright guys, chill out. You know, like, the way I play this game is I play it very methodically. I don't make mistakes. Yeah, this game is crazy, man. There's literally another secret passage that you gotta, like, jump out. But the risks are very high because, like, if you fall... Okay, wait. I I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Let's try to get eyes on this shit again. I believe in you. Yo, do you see that death counter on the bottom left corner, Kelly? There's a reason I've only died 21 times. 
Oh, it's an it's like another cave. Okay, but the thing is, if you jump out over there, like there must be a way to get back. Time for jumping. Okay. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read what you said, Jeremy. But I'll f I'll figure it out. Don't worry. You know you know why I'll figure it out. Because there will be a bunch of messages out there. <laughs> a bunch of people are probably gonna like talk about it. Yeah, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. You never know. You never know. You never know. Oh, I don't get it. Wasn't there supposed to be a cave over here? Maybe I jumped out like too soon. There's another message up there. That means like someone jumped there. Okay, fuck. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, fuck. Okay, I'm okay. You spend 24 hours fighting one boss? I don't think that's a good thing. I mean, you know, obviously the bosses are really difficult, but... What I really think it is, is like you probably need to spend time like leveling up a little bit, you know, finding better armor. Okay, wait, let me get eyes on that shit again because I thought I saw a cave. No, there wasn't a cave. I thought it was a cave, but it's not. It looked like a cave, but it's not a cave. Okay, maybe there's something on this side? Nah. Okay, uh... The good thing is there's no bloodstains though. Like I said, right, like I'm expecting delivery. I don't want to be caught in a fight and I have to like drop my controller and collect my package. So, so I'm trying to just like... You just try to keep fighting him? Okay. Uh... Oh, there's a path over here. Precious item ahead. No liar ahead. Smithing stone one out of one, okay. Um, what the fuck? Oh, try jump attack. It looks like a boss room. I only have four flasks left with me. I gotta figure out a way that, like, if I die, I could come back in here. Yeah, no, let's not do this right now, because, like, like I said, right, like, I'm expecting delivery. So, uh, I'm just going to double back. At least I kind of know that it's over here. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I should put a marker. Okay, the marker I'm going to put is... Um... Let's put like uh, a skeleton marker. Why can't I text? You might be trying to backseat, Kelly. Whenever someone tries to tell me what to do, it's like an auto mod thing. I don't like backseating. So maybe that's why you can't type. So please don't backseat. You know, just please chill out and enjoy the stream. Because whatever you say, I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> just saying. Wow, okay, so it's not easy like, uh, okay, I guess it's probably easy coming through here if you're just like running through everyone. So, okay, wait, uh, I gotta go back down. How about front seating? 
Ain't no front seat in this bitch, Syndicate. I am the driver and I am shotgun. That's all there is to it. Alright. Okay, I never been here yet, so we might we should check it out because they might be a gray site. Sometimes I kind of wait a little bit because like I'm waiting for messages to pop up or I'm waiting to see bloodstains so they can let me know like if something is happening up ahead. Oh, they got dogs. Why? Be wary of dog. Why is it always hiding place? You're not trying to backseat. It just won't go through. Yo, let it go, man. <laughs> Chill out, let it go. Why you gotta, why you always gotta type? You know, sometimes your messages don't go through because the universe don't want it to go through. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. Yo, why is my sword not equipped? Why is my sword not equipped? <laughs> Shit. Yo, he brought his homies, man. What the fuck? Okay, uh, I don't see them anymore. I'm not trying to waste the heal, but I might have to heal. Oh shit, no, no, no. Oh, I gotta heal. <laughs> A fight on the elevator. See, my whole thing is like, I want to isolate my enemies for sure. Wow, look at the blood stains on my character though. Look at that splatter. Oh, this dude is still sticking around. Okay, I'm down to three flasks. That's not good. There should be another dog. Oh, there's another guy. Wasn't there another dog? Maybe he died. Okay. Yo, look at the blood stains though. Large glintstone scrap. Wow, that's a big one. Come on, OT, he's trying to work, yo. Cave ahead? What you mean cave ahead? We are in the cave, motherfucker. Oh wow, this guy got extra, extra health. Huh. Oh. Okay, might be a trap. First off, you don't have the right. What you mean? I guess he's talking about climbing up there. Those miners should unionize and these conditions are inhumane. Call OSHA. <laughs> Yo. This is a dead end. Do people still mine for shit anymore, Jeremy? I think there are still like coal miners, right? And they're breathing in all, like all these toxic fumes and shit. Oh man. So this is kind of like a dead end. Wow, 
Wow, I thought I would actually find like maybe a gray site or something, but I don't know. Okay, let me like upvote this message because like some of the messages were actually really helpful. Seek not here. Oh, I guess like this is like a dead end. Something incredible ahead? <laughs> what you mean something incredible ahead? Imagine going to work in a mine and your boss is a giant cat statue and some meaningless tarnish comes in and slaughter you? Yeah. That would suck. But you know, it's kind of like that back in the the Dark Ages, right? Like, you don't know if you're going to be born into a, a noble family or if your family's going to be like fucked up. I was actually kind of thinking, wait. I was thinking of like, like triggering this elevator and jumping off, but and you know just to see if there's something down below. Oh, okay, it's deep as fuck. I don't think there's anything down there. That was like one of the things like playing the earlier Souls game like taught me was like always check what's underneath the elevator, cause you might find something incredible. Like a spatial item. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. I think there was like this this just this one boss, but I don't have enough like flask. Like right now I only have three. <laughs> Look at this guy's course. And I think this part was actually a side detour. Maybe I think. Right? Like, I haven't even checked out what's up ahead over there. Hmm. Have I been here? Oh, right, I've been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this was a dead end with a corpse. So this is kind of crazy because, like, in order to fight that boss, you have to go through all of this shit. I mean, it's probably not difficult to like run through all of it. Like if you start from there, you run all the way, you know. Okay, let me like track this pathway so that I can, you know, get to where I'm going like better, right? You avoid all the people fighting over here and then you go here, right? All right, that's number one. All right, so that's kind of doable. So, I think maybe it's not over here. Yeah, this ain't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the other part is like, you gotta like, um, you gotta like, as you're going down, you gotta jump out. Right here. You see that? So, if, when you run here, you go here, and then you jump. Oh my god, that's so fucking dangerous. And there's two guys over here. There's two guys over here. You have to run past here. Just keep running. There might be a last guy. And then you quickly go down here. And this elevator will take you to the boss. Right there. Okay, so I kind of like, I kind of register like how to get here. I'm not going to fight this boss here right now. I don't have the resource and, you know, I am expecting delivery. Maybe I can kind of get a picture of like what this guy is. I mean, let me just take a quick peek. So he looks a little like a cave troll. I don't know why this thing says try jump attack. Jump attack doesn't really guarantee that you'll be doing a whole bunch of damage. Oh, this guy is kind of made out of stone. 
So if you thought fighting the other guys like out there is already fucking crazy, it's like they got the big chief over here who is like, you know, 20 feet tall with a fucking club. Oh, he has a club. He will fuck you up. And like hurting him is probably going to be a bitch. Like, you're probably not going to do much. Oh, look at that. Man, I actually thought, would it be possible if I shot an arrow at him? Fuck, this guy looks like fucking ferocious, man. He's like the size of a giant. So my guess is he's probably an underground mining giant. Holy fuck. Yep, he is a giant. Because he has a hole in his stomach. But what what is different with this guy is like... Although his general build is that of a giant, like his skin is like stone. So he's not an ordinary giant because I can fight basic giants. Oh, he might be sleeping. Okay. He looks like he's sleeping. So so there's a possibility that we might not need to fight him. So I got to like just check to see like oh, there's a lot of blood stains inside. I want to I want to see like if there's a passage where like you can sneak past this guy. Just want to see like can you sneak past him and does it take you like somewhere? And also there's a lot of factors, right? Like if you open up this door, they would probably lock the door behind you with the uh, fog. Because usually a boss room is like, you know, you can't come out. So this really, really looks like a boss room. Yep, it looks like a boss room. Okay, let's just see if we can fuck with him a little bit. I'm just kind of curious. You know, in like some Souls games, you can actually do this, but like, I'm just gonna see. Yo, they probably tested this shit, but you know, you never know, right? <laughs> Look at the arrow literally going in the middle, but you can't do shit. Look at that! Look at that arrow literally floating in mid-air. <laughs> Ain't no way you're getting through this shit. You gotta commit. Oh, come on, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Okay, you know what? I think I might head back and spend some money and then I might come back and fight this guy, but I, I'm gonna make sure like I spend all my runes first. So that if I ever fight have fight this guy, um you know, and if I die, it's cool. You know what I mean? So I guess a lot of players are actually like, oh, okay, going back is kind of dangerous too. Oh, okay, fuck. That was really close. The platforming in this game is like kind of janky. So, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, chances are you're going to eat it. All right. So I'm going to go back to the bonfire and I'm just going to like spend some of my runes. But I, I know that there's a boss here. Yep, you gotta be really fast. 
You gotta run past a lot of people. Alright. Let's reset. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Shit. Hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, so first thing first, uh, can we teleport out of here? No, we can't. We gotta like go back up. Uh. Oh, there's another tunnel. There's another bunch of tunnels. Down ahead. Shit, I don't remember like being here. There's literally another tunnel there. Maybe that tunnel is like a shortcut. I think. You never know. See, there's two. Okay, oh fuck. Uh Okay, fuck it. No messages? Oh, it's a dead end. Fuck. Are you serious? Uh oh. Okay, they got mad amount of bloodstains, but why? Oh, there's an item inside, but why did people die? Oh, he died because he was jumping. Oh wow, he just missed that by a, a, a centimeter. What the fuck? Someone else died here. Why? How? Okay, it looked like an invader. Oh, I think he fell. Hidden path ahead? Yeah, sure. Oh, maybe you can bla you can blast this thing open. Maybe, I don't know. Why is this message so like, okay, never mind. Um Yeah, so this is a do or die situation. Uh I saw a guy die because he walked off and I saw another guy die because he jumped. Okay, yep, yeah, that could have been death. Okay, uh, where's the next one? The next one is right here. Okay, cool. Um... Yep. <sighs> Let me check that item again, man. That item, like... You know, it was like an explosive I could use, but... Wait, where was it? Uh, I think it was... Oh, item crafting? No, inventory. It was this one. Explosive stone. Rock blasting. Maybe I could have used this at that, like, secret hole thing. But I'm out for now. I, I want to spend my runes in good health. And I think like maybe like if I really think about it, there might be something that might be good against like stone uh, men. Maybe like, I don't know, like uh, electricity or something. Damn. 
My my throat kind of feels like it's hurting. I might call the stream. Maybe. I know today's stream is a little bit short, but if I sense that I'm getting a little sick, like I try not to overdo it. Man, this game is so beautiful, man. I love this game. Amazing. Man. I wish you could customize this ar this armor. Like, some armors you can alter, but this one you can't seem to really do much. Okay, hold up. Um, I'm going to travel to Kaled because I want to see if I need more arrows or do I need more throwing knives, whatnot. Oh no, what did I do? Okay, let's see. Ah, how nice of you, Lee's. Okay, purchase. Uh, stored, I have 200 arrows. Bolts are pretty cool. Poison dart arrows, dope. Preserving boluses. Alleviate Scarlet Rot buildup and cures rot. I should probably buy this because if there's a quest like there's a girl that has rot. Maybe I'll buy one. And um I guess I'll just buy a bunch of arrows. Alright, let's head back towards towards the round table because I got a bunch of smithing stones, but I don't think none of them are like gonna help me like uh level up my sword because my sword needs like a a three. And the only ones I found are a one. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your arms. Okay, strength and armament. Yep, I don't have it. I want to see if there's anyone new here. Mm. I was kind of hoping like you know that half dog, half human guy might be here, maybe. Nope. Dude, yeah, this thing isn't even moving, man. Praise the pair. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> um, guys, I might call the stream early today, man. Be wary of up, dog. What? Oh, look at that. There's like a second level to this shit. Wait. Oh, I don't know. I I don't know if there's a second level to this shit. Ah. Ah. Well then. Would you may the golden order sh likely a sinner, huh? God damn. Damn. Surprise attack. Where? <laughs> Try fingers but hole. Ha <laughs> Jesus man, people are so dumb. If only I had a friend. You know, this jump doesn't look that impossible, but I can tell, like there's a lot of <gasps> Oh I kind of suspect I know where the door over there leads to, kinda. Oh man, I'm so sleepy. 
Damn guys, I think I might call the stream here, man. I I I think I need to go rest. Not really feeling like a hundred percent. But I just want to say a quick shout out again to everyone who joined the stream. You know, I think two hours, you know, two hours is pretty good. Two hours and 10 minutes. Thank you guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, I mean, like, like I said, right? Like I'll probably look for like another game to also supplement Elden Ring. You know, unfortunately, Kenna didn't work out for us because like I wasn't really enjoying that game, but you know, I'll look through and find something, right? So if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that follow button. If you are already followed and you're lurking and enjoying the stream, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube in the far future, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the YouTube channel. And uh, do check me out whenever I go live at twitch.tv slash TV, man. Yo, thank you guys. Shout outs to everyone, man. Appreciate y'all. Take care, guys. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side, all right? Um, uh, oh, again, like, I'll be back day after tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off. So here's my schedule. If by any chance I don't stream, I'll let you guys know early um, on the Twitter and the Discord. So I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time, all right? Peace.